today I'm gonna to show you guys how to stretch your own canvases. What I have here is 36 by 50 inch paintings that I did on primed, unstretched canvas. We're gonna go through the process of how to stretch these on canvas bars and float frame them so we can hang them on the wall, on the motherfucking wall. Stretch these, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need stretch bars. You can get these at your local art shop. We're gonna need a staple gun. We're gonna need a razor blade so that way we can cut the excess off the canvas for when we stretch it wraps around properly. So we're gonna start with this bad boy here. This canvas has already been varnished with a clear coat. It is now ready to be stretched. We buy canvas bars that have already come pre-notched. That way we can already fit them together for the right size. For this, we're gonna be doing 27 by 40 inch canvases. All we gotta do is assemble. Now that we have our frames built, we need to make sure that they are completely rectangle. They're not wobbly. Since these are notched and we're not using crossbars, it's easy to make them actually like wobble a little bit, and then your painting's gonna be crooked. People are gonna laugh at you. And you're gonna get made fun of that scribble. <laughs> Do that, we should be using a right angle, but I'll eyeball it from a distance. Now what we want to do is we want to lay our bars on top of the painting. This is so we can figure out where we're going to wrap around and how much we're going to need to crop. Also, because if we guess it from the back, we might accidentally crop off the art. So this is going to help us kind of line up and center where we want the main painting to be. Once we have a good idea of where we want the painting to be, I'm just going to fold over on the back and I'm just going to use a, a pen or a marker. I'm just going to mark. So this way I know when I lay, when I flip this over, and I lay the frame on top, I know where the corners are gonna be. I can see marks of where the corners of the frame are going to live. So when I stretch, all I gotta do is trim. Now that I know where the corner is going to be, roughly, I need to trim the canvas. I need the canvas to trim exactly so that the edge of what I'm working with comes to the edge of the frame. To measure that out, I'm going to use not only the thickness of the frame here, but also the thickness here. Using a tape measure, I can get a rough idea of how much I'm going to need. So we have one inch by one and a half. That means when I match up my corners, I'm gonna to need to make a mark of at least two and a half inches of where I'm going to need to trim. I can do that all the way around. Now that I know where the canvas is going to be, I can use a straight edge to mark and go ahead and use my box cutter to trim off the parts of the canvas I'm not going to need. Now that we have all the excess trimmed off, we're gonna flip over the painting real quick just to give it a quick sanity check, make sure we didn't accidentally cut off any of the artwork. And this is what's going to wrap around the edge and fit on the frame nicely. So, we can start actually stretching. So we're gonna flip it back on its face down. Your stretcher bars are going to have two edges. One is gonna be completely flat. That's the side that gets stapled to, and one is going to have kind of a groove. This is where the canvas lays on top, and this is so you don't see this flat edge on your canvas. It will make it nice and flush. The art just sits on this very, very tight edge. So we're gonna put that side down. So first what we wanna do is we wanna tack and it's set with a staple. After we have it tacked down on one side, we're gonna use some canvas stretchers. You can get these at your local art store to pull one edge extremely tight. We want to pull it so tight that we start to get this, this wrinkle that goes right down the middle. This is how we know the canvas is tight enough. If you, if you tighten it too much, you'll rip that first staple and you will not be happy. So we should get a nice wrinkle like that down the middle. Now we're going to the sides. What you want to see when you do this is you want the, that wrinkle to turn into a wrinkled diamond. That's very important. 
So we're gonna just pull a little bit, not too much, to kind of start to pull and get that diamond on this side. We're gonna tack it down, one staple. I'm gonna turn it around, and we're gonna do the other side. We pull this one, this one should pull pretty tight. You can see that we have a nice wrinkled diamond going all around the canvas. I'm gonna flip it over just to get an idea of what the paint is gonna look like when it's stretched. Now it's time to start working around the edges. So, the way that we wanna do this is we wanna work one side at a time out. Once we do, we're gonna add two staples here. One, two, then we're gonna move down to the bottom. One, two, then this one, one, two, then this one, one, two. And we're gonna add two more, and we're gonna keep doing that until we can get down to the corners. So let's go. Once we have these staples in, again, we're gonna add two more, and we're gonna work around Pulling the canvas tight, we don't, we don't want to pull it too tight to where we hear any strange noises. We just want to pull it, pull it taut enough to where we're pulling out those, that initial diamond wrinkle. We want that wrinkle, that diamond, to kind of push to the corners. Since this frame is a rectangle, we want to just hit one extra set of nails on both sides so that way we have equal a distance from the corner on each side. This one here, we want it to be equal size here. Okay, so we're gonna just set an extra, we're gonna set an extra staple here so that way when we do the corners, we just need to do it on this side because it's longer. Folding corners is very important. What you want to do is you want to pinch, okay? And you want to basically get two folds, okay? You want to pinch and you want to get two little dimples like this. That's what you're going to use to fold over. And the reason why is because we want to get this flat. If we just try to fold it like a traditional Christmas present, we're going to get this. That's not what we want. We need two little pinches, okay? And that will fold over and we'll hit a staple. So once we have this, for this painting, we're gonna pull all of these inward from the side, and they need to be tight because this is going into frame. When you do this, you want this to fold the same way on the opposite side. So, same thing, I need two little, two little pinches to kind of sit over here, and it's gonna fold like this. Using the stretcher, once I have this fold, the canvas should be strong enough to hold itself. So I can use this stretcher very carefully just to pull, I'm gonna set two guide staples before I actually hit the, the, the corner. So I'm just using this to just pull it a little bit tight. So I wanna put a staple here. Okay. Then I'm gonna do it the same on the other side. And this is what I'm gonna to use to kind of like tighten it down for when I actually pull this corner. So I'll pull it tight, I'm gonna set one in. Okay. Now that I have this, what I want to do is I, I want to forcefully, I'm going to grab this with the pliers and I'm going to pull that over and set it with a staple. Nice and tight. Boom. Put that one staple there. And then pull my corner nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight here. Pull it again. Set it. So now we're gonna do the same. And as I mentioned before, the way that this is folded over, we're gonna do the same and crimp these corners so that they fold over like this. And that way, um, the canvas is kind of wrapped around the outside. Now that we have our canvases stretched, you can do two things. One, you can hang them as is. 
And also because we stretch them, we get a nice art that wraps around the sides and the bottom. So stretching your canvases after you painted them is always awesome because it makes the art flush all the way to the edges and gives a really clean, polished look. You can do two things with these. You can hang them as is. If you buy a two inch or an inch and a half thick canvas, that totally works. You can pop these on the wall. Or you can put them in some frames. So here I have two frames that match exactly the same size as the canvases. These are inset. So that means when the canvas sits inside, all you have to do is mount it and mount these frames. Because we set our canvas inside the frames, we'll get a nice lift off the wall and the final piece will give a great cast shadow and almost makes it look like it's sitting in a TV. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button and give me a like. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you guys wanna learn. I'm gonna start making more art tutorial videos and I hope to put you guys up on some gang. Adios.